my name is Lynn Pfeiffer of 365 Days of Baking and More. And instead of being in the kitchen, I'm on a journey for best food facts to understand CRISPR technology. We are not talking about the CRISPR drawer in your fridge. CRISPR technology is a simple yet powerful tool that enables scientists to edit DNA sequences. This form of gene editing holds promising applications such as curing and preventing diseases and improving foods. My exploration of this subject started with food scientist and CRISPR researcher, Dr. Rodolf Barangu. As a food blogger, I get a lot of my followers coming to me asking for diabetic recipes, gluten-free recipes, and allergenic recipes. How does CRISPR fit into that? If you are allergic, you can make gluten-free wheat. Wow. Right, we can make hypoallergenic nuts. If we know what the gene is, we can take it out or turn it off, or turn it down. And that's exactly what Dr. Jessica Lyons and her team are researching at the University of California, Berkeley. Their research is focused on using CRISPR technology to remove a deadly compound in the cassava plant. Cassava is a really important staple crop for about 800 million people in tropical and subtropical regions of the world. So this is a map that shows places in the world where stunting in children under the age of five is most prevalent. Stunting is the result of when children are malnourished, especially in the first thousand days of life. So if you take this map and you look at where the stunting is occurring and you overlay where cassava is grown here in the green, what I hope you can see is that cassava has the potential to be a really important tool in trying to combat food insecurity. Here in the U.S., we know it is yucca. But in third world countries, if the cassava plant isn't processed correctly, it can have terrible consequences. The cassava plant contains cyanide and that can, that can poison a person. People who eat plenty of protein in their diet, the cyanide is not as much of a threat. But for people who are really, you know, they don't have much to eat besides cassava, then the cyanide poisoning is more, more of a threat. So it's not much of a threat here in the United States? No, it's not. I had no idea about the cyanide in cassava. How is the CRISPR technology going to help with that? What we're going to do is we're going to use CRISPR as a tool. We're going to knock out a couple of genes that are important for the cyanogenesis pathway, and that way we're going to engineer cassava that doesn't contain cyanide. Why is this research important to you? I've been the recipient of a great deal of privilege in my life, and I'm aware of that. My work on projects like this are a great opportunity to use the knowledge and the resources and the skills that I have to have a positive impact on the world. A small part of, of making the world a better place, right? Helping people. Exactly. Yeah. After my series of conversations with researchers, it is clear to me CRISPR technology has the potential to make a positive impact on the world in human health, disease prevention in animals, and food improvements. And that's only a few of the possibilities. While I get back to baking, I encourage you to remain curious, be open-minded, and learn all that you can about CRISPR technology. I'm Lynn Pfeiffer for Best Food Facts.